Welcome to Trash Imagination, a podcast about reimagining trash. I'm Carla Brown. In today's episode, we'll talk about how to creatively reuse yoga mats. I'll share stories about yoga mats that are made from recycled materials, and then I'll talk about products made from recycled yoga mats. And finally, I'll share ideas for how you can creatively reuse yoga mats at home. First, let's talk about yoga mats made from recycled materials. In the past, most yoga mats were made from PVC or polyvinyl chloride, but there is a long list of problems with this type of material. The most common plastic yoga mat today is made from EVA or ethylene vinyl acetate. These mats are popular because they are sticky and they keep you from sliding around. Unfortunately, neither PVC nor EVA yoga mats are recycled by most municipal recycling programs. Increasingly, there are alternatives made from rubber, cork, jute, or woven mats from cotton. Some yoga mats are even made from recycled materials, and since that's an example of creative reuse, that's what I'll talk about now. The suga mat is made from recycled wetsuits. Wetsuits often last only a few years with regular use, and there are very few ways to creatively reuse them. Sugamat gathers wetsuits from surf shops, chops them up, and makes yoga mats. I read one review from someone who had pets, which kept destroying her previous yoga mats, but their claws did not damage the sugamat because it is a sturdier construction. The appearance of these mats is mostly black with speckles of other colors. These mats are heavier than most other yoga mats, which is a consideration if you take your mat with you, and they are more expensive than many yoga mats. However, you can purchase a lifetime warranty version for $100, so you could just keep replacing the mat as it wears out for no additional cost. Another company which makes yoga mats from creatively reused materials is Yoga Design Lab, which makes yoga mats from recycled plastic bottles. There are also companies which take old yoga mats and make them into new products. For example, Sanuk and Nalo use recycled yoga mats in the insoles for their sandals. Manduka has a program called Live On, where they take old mats and recycle them in a variety of ways. Next, let's talk about ways that people take an old yoga mat and reuse it around their home. The most common reuse idea is to use it as a liner or a mat. Pet owners and animal shelters use yoga mats for all sorts of tasks, such as lining pet crates, protecting the floor under pet dishes for when the pets might spill food or water, protecting the floor under a kitty litter pan, protecting their trunk or the boot of their car when transporting pets. In the kitchen, you can line drawers with them or make placemats. You can put them under your dish drying rack. You can cut them into circles to make a gripper to open jars, or you can protect your furniture by making coasters. Gardeners use old yoga mats to protect their knees when working on the ground. Campers make a doormat for their tent so they can take off their shoes before entering the tent and avoid tracking dirt in there. People take yoga mats to the beach instead of a towel or to sports games to insulate the seat. As an example of a very tiny mat, you can cut down a yoga mat to make a mouse pad. Our family has used a small yoga mat as a bath mat for when we step out of the shower. They don't absorb moisture, so they are not great in that respect, but they don't slip, so that is handy. If you love making puzzles, but you can't leave them out all the time, some people do their puzzles on a yoga mat and then roll them up to put them aside for later. Yoga mats are great for padding. Some people put their guitar or other musical instruments on a yoga mat so it doesn't slide off a table or get dinged. They also wrap breakables in yoga mats when moving. Next, let's talk about how people creatively reuse yoga mats to make crafty things. 
Yoga mats are a great material for making educational items. For example, you can use an X-Acto knife to cut out shapes, letters, or numbers for hands-on activities. Some people cut them into shapes and make stamps from them by dipping them in paint or ink. The next idea is to make a sensory mat or a sensory rug. This is a mat where you attach items with many textures, and it's like a flat playground on the floor for babies. Or you can put multiple mats along a path and call it a sensory walk. The idea is for kids to walk along this path with bare feet. People say they are both stimulating to the senses, but also have a calming effect. The items that they attach to these mats could be sponges, pom-poms, scrubbies, plastic checkers, artificial grass, corks, smooth glass beads, aluminum foil, or rope. You could even cut out shapes from a yoga mat and glue it on the yoga mat to make new textures. Yoga mats can be great for making active games for your family. One family made a hopscotch on their old yoga mat. Another made a bowling alley by putting pool noodles along the edge of their yoga mat and then standing bottles at the end. They then used a beach ball for the bowling. Another family cut up their yoga mat to make bases for playing baseball. I read an article by a physical therapist who travels to visit patients, and they needed to bring materials with them on those visits. They made a variety of activities on yoga mats because they are usually easy to transport. But even if you're not a physical therapist, but a parent who is looking for sensory activities for your child, there are great ideas in this article. Some people with autism find it calming to be wrapped up like a burrito, and they can use a yoga mat to do that. Yoga mats are also a popular material for making Halloween and cosplay costumes. Many cosplay designers actually use the thicker foam that you find in the floor mats that snap together. Uh, Sometimes these are called puzzle tiles. That type of material can actually hold a shape if you heat it with a heat gun, but yoga mats need to be sewn together to hold a shape. I saw a pizza slice costume from a beige yoga mat where they cut a hole for their head and then they had two big triangular shapes hanging down their front and back, which they decorated with pretend pizza toppings. Fiona Joy made Viking hats for her son from gray and white yoga mats. He wanted to dress up as the cartoon character Asterix. She followed the pattern design by Alicia Brown, who always works with cardboard, and she adapted it to work with a yoga mat. Riley Passfield is a makeup artist from Australia who made an incredible Wonder Woman bustier from a yoga mat. Another way that yoga enthusiasts can creatively reuse materials is to make a yoga mat bag from recycled materials. I found many tutorials for how to make a yoga mat bag from scrap fabric because it's basically a long, skinny drawstring bag with a handle, which is a great beginner sewing project. A leg of a pair of pants or trousers makes a great yoga mat bag, especially if they have pockets that button shut on the side. Some people crochet a long skinny bag for their yoga mat using plarn made from recycled t-shirts or plastic bags. In each episode of Trash Imagination, I love to talk about artists who are creatively reusing the material, and in this case, it took me a long time to find even one artist who works with yoga mats. But I finally found someone. I found Alex Epstein, who works only about an hour away from me in Baltimore, Maryland. She makes abstract works from yoga mats. I read one website which described them as inspired by Matisse's cutouts. And that does seem like a good description. She takes the bright colors of yoga mats and cuts them into abstract shapes that fit together like a puzzle. These would be pieces that you could display on a wall like a painting. She started working with yoga mats as her medium after a car accident in graduate school. This was a material that she could work with even with an injured arm. Alex is the only artist I found who creatively reuses yoga mats to make pieces that go into an art gallery. So let me know if you find any more. 
Thank you for listening. Please let me know if you have ever creatively reused yoga mats by reaching me at trashmagination at gmail.com. Until next time, may you see yoga mats as a source of art in your life. <laughs> <laughs>